Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Sushrup here, back with a brand new video. In today's video, guys, I'm going to show you how to set up a join form um, or how to make a UI pop up on your screen when the player joins, as you guys can see. So I've just joined into the world and it says your title here. Welcome to the server. If I try to close it, it will reopen it. If I try to escape it or anything, it will just open it over and over again until I click close. Once I click close, it says thanks for reading and then it goes away. Now you guys can be really creative with this by putting rules or putting a little introduction to the server or anything like that. But note, this will open up every single time the player joins because this is an on join function. But without that said guys, let's get into the tutorial. And first off, you want to open up Visual Studio Code. So guys, when you open up a Visual Studio code, you guys want to come to scripts, right click on scripts, click on new folder. Inside of here, you're gonna call this folder functions and then press enter. Inside of functions, you're gonna click on new file and type index.js. Inside of this script file, we're going to be setting up our wait function. So to do that, what we need to do is we need to import and then we're going to open up some curly brackets and you're going to type system from in quotation marks at minecraft forward slash server just like that guys now we're going to set up our function but because we're not going to be using the function inside of this script we're going to be using it in our join script what we want to do is we want to type in export this will allow us to export this function and use it somewhere else in the script, uh, in you know, inside of another script elsewhere. So what we're going to do is we're going to type export, then we're going to make our function. So type function space wait, and inside of this wait function, we're going to open up uh, some brackets and type time. Then we're going to close your brackets and open up some curly brackets and press enter. Inside here, you're gonna type in return space. Then we're gonna make a new promise with a capital P. Inside here, you're gonna open up two brackets. Then you're gonna type in resolve. Then you're gonna close one of your brackets and press enter. Then uh, put great uh, equals, then greater than. Press space and open up another set of curly brackets. Inside here, we're gonna type in const space wait uh, timeout with a capital T space equals space system dot run timeout, just like so. Then we're gonna open up two uh, sets of brackets and then close one set. From here, we're going to press space, then we're going to press equals, and type greater than, and press space, and open up another set of curly brackets. Then when you press enter, you guys are now going to type system.clear run, just like that with a capital R. And inside here, you're going to open up some brackets and type wait timeout, just like that. Then we're going to press enter and type resolve. Then we're going to open and close a set of brackets. Then you're going to come down to this curly bracket here and press comma. Then you're going to type time. Then you're going to come to the end of that bracket and put two of these here. Then we're going to save that. And that is our functions file done. So now we've made the wait function. Now what you guys want to do is go to scripts, click on new folder. Now we're gonna create our unjoin form. So make an unjoin file, right click that, click new file, and then type index.js. Then when, once you've done that, we're now going to create our on join function. But first, there is a few things that we need to import. So what we're gonna do is we're going to type import space, then we're gonna import world inside of curly brackets. 
And that's going to be from at Minecraft Minecraft forward slash server. Just like that. Then guys, we're going to import space in curly brackets. We're going to import the action form data just like so. And that is going to be from at Minecraft forward slash server dash UI. Just like that. Then we're going to import our weight function. So import and then in some curly brackets type of weight. And that's going to be from, and then you want to put some rotation marks, put full stop, full stop, forward slash, and it should come up with your files. Then you want to type functions, forward slash, index.js, just like that. Now we're going to set up the um, initial spawn event. So what we're going to do is type world, forward, uh, world, forward, full stop, after, events just like that then you're going to type forward uh, full stop then you're going to type player and then spawn just like so then you can type dot subscribe which is what you guys should do if you haven't already just like that then you're going to open up some brackets. Inside here, you're going to type a sync, just like that. And then you're going to open up some brackets and open up some curly brackets. Inside here, you're going to type in player, comma, space, and I'm going to type in initial spawn. With a capital S. Then you guys want to close some curly brackets and close your uh, normal set of bracket. Then you're going to press space equals greater than and we're going to open up some curly brackets. Inside here we're going to set up an if statement. So if and then inside brackets we're going to put an exclamation point which means if not and then initial spawn then return. Then we're going to type in a wait, and then we're going to type in wait, which is our wait function. And inside of brackets, you are going to then tell the game how long you want it to wait before it runs the next function, which will be our join form. So for the video purpose, I'm going to put 100, which in ticks, that is five seconds. Then we're going to press enter. Then we're going to type in join form and that will run on the player just like that. Then guys go down to line nine and press enter twice. And now we're going to set up our function join form on the player. So we're going to type function join form player. Then we're going to open up some curly brackets inside here we're going to type in new action form data then we're going to set up a dot title and in quotation marks we're going to just set uh, your title here just like so make sure that these quotation marks are inside of some brackets just like that then we're going to type in dot body and we're going to set up a little message. So we're going to say welcome to the server. If you guys want a more in-depth tutorial on how to make action form data, model form data, uh, then you guys can check out the card that's on screen now. Um, or you guys can check out one of my previous videos where it shows you how to make a GUI. Then we're going to set up a basic button and inside this button, we're going to call that button close. Then we're going to type dot show and we're going to open up a bracket type player. Then close our bracket and type full stop. Then and then open up two brackets, then open up a curly bracket. And inside here, you're going to type in selection. 
Then you're going to put a comma and type in cancelled. Just like that. Then we're going to close our curly bracket, close our normal bracket, and then press equals and greater than. Then open up another set of curly brackets. And inside here, we're going to do if. And we're going to set up if it gets cancelled. So if the player closes the menu, it's going to reopen the menu until they click the button close. If you guys don't want this, you can simply just skip this and type switch. But if you want this, then type if cancelled inside of brackets, space return, space, and then the name of your join form and make that on the player just like that so if cancelled return join form on the player or whatever you guys have called your function then you want to press enter and you guys are now going to type in switch space selection then we're going to set up the uh, selection here so once you've done switch space selection you're going to open up some curly brackets inside here you're going to type case zero which is going to be our first button. Then you're going to type in player dot, and then we're going to have this run a send message uh, just like that. And inside here, we're going to say thank you for reading or whatever you guys want to put. Then you want to uh, close it with a bracket and then type break and then close that with a curly bracket. And then you want to put a close curly bracket, then close normal bracket, then close curly bracket and click save. Now what you guys want to do is you want to go to your main.js folder. Inside here, you're going to type in import. And what we're going to import, we're going to import our on join function. So you want to put full stop forward slash on join, just like that and forward slash index.js. Then once everything is saved, you guys are gonna open up Minecraft. Then you're going to load into the world with the behavior pack on. You should see your uh, console.warns. And when you load in, if you just give it a few seconds, as you guys can see, it has opened up our uh, join form. Now from here, if the player tries to press X, it will open up or if the player tries to press B or escape, it'll open up again. Now, if the player presses escape and open up the chat real quick, just like that, uh, when they exit the chat, just like that, it'll open up again. The only way to stop this form from showing up, you need to press the button right here, click close. And that will then say thank you for reading as you guys can see. And that'll only show up to the player that pressed the button it won't show up for everyone but anyway guys that is how you set up an on join uh, event um or how to set up an on join uh, action form data or an on join ui um for minecraft bedrock but anyway guys thank you guys so much for watching it has been your boy solus don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will catch you guys in the next video peace